Are shorts a good way to advertise your book? Remember when we used to do book trailers for Facebook ads? Now you can do them on various social media platforms. YouTube has shorts, Facebook has reels, and then there is TikTok, which I admit I'm still working on figuring out. Well, TikTok. Welcome to Social Media for Authors, where we talk about ads, marketing, getting followers and views, plus whatever else I can come up with that might fit into this category. Today, we're going to talk about three categories of YouTube shorts, which can later be converted to Facebook Reels plus TikTok videos, getting you advertising on multiple social media accounts. Some advantages of shorts are you can link in the description to audiobooks, Amazon, and your website. If long enough, you can put an end screen to a YouTube audiobook or video. And they also have the option of remixing taking a 60 second clip of a longer video on your channel which will automatically link to the longer video and that saves you some content creating time as well. Now there are some disadvantages to shorts for authors and that means original content can take a long time to create for only less than a minute video. Remixing is only available on the mobile phone app so for some people they can find it very small and very hard to use so it's not always user friendly. Um, and then there's time constraints on your message, so you only have one minute, so you have to be super concise with what you want to do. On the plus side, shorts can also help you grow your subscriber base. Plus, I reuse them by uploading them to Facebook as Reels, and I'm starting on the TikTok train. So yes, yes, I know I'm late to that party, but that's okay, because people need new content to consume every day, so I'm not worried about oversaturation in the marketplace. There's a big enough pie for everybody to have a small bite. Mm-hmm. And some of us, if we work really hard at it, maybe a full bite. So, without further ado, our three categories of shorts that we're going to talk about today to help advertise specifically a book are one, ads, two, scenes, and three, narration. Let's dive into these just a little bit further. So, in ads, this is a short which talks exclusively about your book. A character or your genre. Examples are using your blurb and creating a book trailer. I haven't done this for a long time so I don't have one that's recent but I will show you an example of one that I put together for quite a while ago. Now, you can also use Canva or similar program to get appropriate visuals and doing a paragraph about one of your book's characters. I like to do the main characters of my stories. For example, I have um, for Ring for Christmas, I have Meet L. So I will tell a little bit about her. I will do visuals that are similar to her. And you can see that example right here. Meet L. L is looking for the one who makes her heart sing. She's recently filling in for her parents at their restaurant where she meets Max, who needs a job. This handsome stranger brings the complication of his brother Noah into her life. Max may be handsome, but it's Noah that Elle truly desires. And then there is the example of doing an ad for your genre. So in my case, I'm asking my viewers if they enjoy reading romance books which hopefully they will because that's that's hopefully why they've come to my channel either to learn more about writing or to enjoy the romance books or the cozy mysteries that I have. So in this case I put a cute little ad together featuring um, the various books that I have in one of my romance series. Do you enjoy reading romantic comedy? What about a family drama saga? Meet the Ramsleys. A series of books about the lives of a billionaire family who are getting a taste of love and finding out that even when you're rich, there are just some things that can't be bought. Find them on Amazon or listen to the audiobooks for free on YouTube. Just follow the link. Now, this leads us to our second option. So, don't worry if you 
thought the first one was pretty long. This one's a lot shorter. So this is to take scenes. So I call it scenes. And this is to take like scenes or clips directly from your book to showcase a pivotal moment that is happening. Whether it's, you know, you go chapter by chapter or if you're looking for a specific like climactic moment. So this is something that is best with high drama, comedy, or action. So something is happening that is momentous to the book and will hopefully catch readers' attention and want, leave them wanting more so they come to your channel. This tends to be a bit more time consuming to create. Uh, personally, again, I use Canva, but there are other programs with video and photos that you can use. Uh, make sure that you have uh, rights to the usage of these programs. But uh, I like to take a high energy moment for the characters from my book, which makes sense within that 60 second time frame. So remember, you're getting that 60 seconds and the viewer doesn't know what happened before or what happened after that 60 seconds. So it has to be pretty complete and yet inviting them to want more. And again, these are just examples. It doesn't mean that you have to follow them, but it gives you an idea of what can be done. And if you want to, so to speak, change it up and use something similar for yourself. Perhaps Maurice was there, although it seemed odd with the lights being off. Just to be sure the shop wasn't being broken into, I checked the front door and found it unlocked. Hello? I carefully asked, propping the door open with a crutch. Is anyone here? There was silence in the shop. I looked at the door lock, trying to get the bolt to work, but it appeared to be, have been broken. Taking my phone out of my purse, I decided to call Armand. It was odd. The door was unlocked and I couldn't just leave with the building not being secure. Anyone could come in and take something. A hand snaked out, grabbing me by the arm. So the third option that we have is narration. Um, this would mean that you, as the author, are personally narrating a scene of your book, um, again, usually with really good content with drama, comedy, or action, just to get the reader's attention. And hopefully you enjoy being in front of the camera and narrating to the audience yourself because a lot of people enjoy getting to know the author and that has become part of the selling point, especially when it comes to um, independently published authors, but even traditionally as well, but especially in independent ones, they want to know you and feel like they are contributing to your success and part of your story, which is true because all your viewers are doing that 100%. And from the bottom of my heart, thank you for doing so. So anyway, um, one of this, this is to me, one of the easier ones to make. So you pick the fun scene to read. You make sure that your lighting is half decently good. Hopefully you have a somewhat interesting background. Maybe you've got yourself in a chair or you're outside. Ask your readers at the end if they enjoyed it. You know, maybe ask them a question about what they'd like you to read next. Try and get some engagement and comments on the, the short or your videos. Um, and make sure if you do happen to have a full audio video on YouTube to put the end cards in, the end screens in, if your video is long enough, um, so that, that they can go further if they want to actually read your entire audiobook if you have it on there. If not, you can always put your links in the description and tell them at the end, hey, you know, if you enjoyed this and you want to go purchase it on Amazon or you're in the Kindle Unlimited program, Go to the description, the links are there, and you can find what you're looking for. It took a few moments for Miguel to find him. Boss is not going to be happy. I'm not happy. Drew popped the tailgate open and began to undo the bungee cords. Did you just bring us a dead body? Miguel demanded. Nope. He's alive. He's the demolition guy I was talking about, Drew explained. Sure enough, once the cords were loosened, Max helped them to remove the tarp and sat on the tailgate of the truck. Max took a look at the sunny sky, breathed in a deep breath, and smiled. It feels good to be alive. There are lots of ideas out there, and a quick Google search will show you all sorts of shorts that you can make as an author on YouTube. So today, the examples that I've given you are specifically related to marketing a book. But hey, there's very much more out there, and there's all sorts of different things that you can do. Now, 
if you'd like, and if you have done some advertising for your books as well, and you want to throw something into the comments just to say, hey, this has worked for me, please, by all means, let's share and maybe you learn something or maybe something, you know, somebody else can learn from you. And it's a great thing to be able to teach each other and help each other out because we're all trying to make it in this big, big world. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And, you know, if you found some value in it, please subscribe, like it, hit the bell for notifications, and, you know, maybe view the next video and see if you will enjoy that one as well. Have a great day, happy reading, and happy listening.